Hi, it's Dan Flake here with the latest. The opposition's not happy with the terms outlined in this COVID response inquiry announced today. Shadow Health Minister Ann Rustin says decisions made solely by the states and territories won't be scrutinised, and that's a big mistake if we're to learn what worked and what didn't. The problem we've got here is that the actions of the states and territories, particularly in relation to things like border closures between states, um, and, you know, vaccine mandates um, and lockdowns, all had quite significant and in some cases catastrophic impacts on the populations of those states. However, PM Anthony Albanese is confident the inquiry will get to the heart of what worked, what didn't and what the nation can do better next time. One of the things that I've stressed is we need greater economic resilience. We need a future made here in Australia. Uh, we're vulnerable uh, for shocks uh, like a pandemic. A report is due this time next year. The mercury's risen to the late 30s across parts of Queensland's west as the temps which hit New South Wales and parts of Victoria earlier this week moved north. Firefighters across the state are working on around 40 active incidents. A price gouging inquiry led by the ACTU's begun today with findings to be handed down in December. It's mid concerns cost of living worries have forced some Aussies to forfeit the bare necessities all while some supermarkets, airlines and energy providers post record profits. And Kylie Minogue, Troy Sivan and the Kid Leroy are among 10 artists who will battle it out for Song of the Year at the Arias. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Collingwood hit the training track for the final time this morning ahead of tomorrow's grand final qualifier against the Giants with Nick Dacos moving freely 24 hours out from his return from a knee injury. However, GWS coach Adam Kingsley says they won't be focusing too much on him. You know, we're going to focus on ourselves. As I said, we've got plans for him wherever he goes to, to try and manage him, but he's a, he's a wonderful player. Meantime, the AFL and Players Association have reached a landmark deal on a new $2.2 billion five-year collective bargaining agreement. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Partly cloudy and 15 for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Tomorrow, cloudy and 16, and it's going to be sunny and 20 on Saturday. Download the listener app and search the briefing podcast to find out what you need to know for the summer ahead.